is in the books right here. My signature in this bill will also impose uh, Florida law uh, on this area, just like it's imposed on Universal Studios and SeaWorld and all these other places, uh, and this bill and the structure that we've created in this bill will ensure that the municipal debt that's been racked up uh, will be paid by Disney, not by Florida taxpayers. And so Disney loses self-governing status. The state of Florida is the new sheriff in town. But, you know, I got a lot on my plate. I can't be running this, uh, you know, from the governor's office. So we've created a state control board uh, that is going to be responsible for governing uh, this area. And I'm pleased to announce that uh, I am going to later today uh, formally appoint uh, the following uh, to the control board. So uh, Martin Garcia uh, from Tampa, who I'm appointing as chair of the board, uh, Bridget Ziegler, a member of the Sarasota uh, County School Board, uh, Brian Ungst from Pinellas County, uh, Mike Sasso, a lawyer here in Central Florida, um, and businessman uh, Ron Perry. They've got a lot of work to do. Uh, they know that our vision is, okay, yes, Disney no longer has its uh, own government, uh, but you got to ensure that all these laws are applied. You got to ensure the debt is paid, and you got to ensure the fair share of taxes are paid. I mean, these are you know decades of subsidies and benefits that have really accumulated to kind of this one powerful company, and now we're basically just uh, on an even playing field. And what's good for Di what's good for SeaWorld is good for Disney, and that's just the way it's got to be. Uh, we also have people that very much um, want to see uh, Disney be what Walt envisioned which is what we all want to do. I mean, we're, you know, honestly, in spite of all the stuff that's happened the last couple of years, you know, I've always been very proud of, of our parks. I've been proud of so many people that have been able to come to Florida over the years. I mean, it's almost like a, like a rite of passage for people to be able to come down here. And I think a lot of families have had really great experiences for many times, you know, but when you lose your way, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta have people that are gonna tell you the truth. And so we hope that they can get back on. But I think all these boys board members very much would like to see uh, the type of entertainment that, that all families can appreciate.